I'm gonna go for this one, all of the above. Oh no! Now this video is gonna be a really weird episode. On the screen now is the countdown to a very short quiz that's gonna take place and it's already a lot of time, so <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work. There's this thing called the YouTube Creator Academy. I'll put it on screen here. And it's where you can learn about every single aspect of YouTube. And there are 41 courses. Here's what they look like. At the end of each course, there's usually an exam. So we do this as a, as a game show and a quiz that you and I can play along with and answer the questions and see if we pass the course. But what I didn't realize was that some of the courses don't have exams at the end. <laughs> it's just a course and maybe a few questions. Well, there are a few questions on this one. It's called, use comments to connect with your community, but there's no quiz on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go through the course so that you and I can get up to speed with how to handle comments on our YouTube channel. By the way, hello, I'm Neil Mossy. I'm a development producer helping high achieving creators and performers just like you, double five. <laughs> <laughs> to get ideas out of your head and out onto here on YouTube to make the world happier because we need we need your channel, we need your stuff. It's Saturday night here in the Happy Huts. I've got my game show t-shirt, my London weekend television t-shirt that usually came before every game show that I grew up with. Let's <laughs> just do it again. Some Harry Rabinovitz glockenspiel there. So the first thing on the course, and this video here, there's a link in the description, I'll, I'll link to it on screen now. It's basically a video that explains everything in the course anyway. So we'll skip straight to lesson two, promote quality comments. Comments are a great place to get direct feedback from your viewers answer their questions, and above all, create a community and conversation around your videos. Here are some specific things that we can do to achieve that. Heart our favorite comments. When you heart a comment, viewers will see your channel icon with a small red heart and may receive a notification that you loved what they wrote. I, I give out these as much as possible. <laughs> I'm just delighted that any comment that I get, I've sometimes put them on some really horrible comments as well, just to annoy the, the commenter. I'm not sure they're intended that way. This is a quick and effective way to build fan loyalty and to show your appreciation to viewers. Pin comments to the top of your feed. Pinning lets us highlight what comments our fans see when watching our videos. I don't know if, if I should do this as you or we. I'm, I'm gonna do it as we because I'm not, I'm not YouTube. We can either pin our own comment or a fan comment. Pinning our own comments is a great way to clarify something from our video, ask your audience a specific question, tease a specific moment or Easter egg, pin a fan comment that stood out to me to highlight them and to thank our viewers for watching. This may seem obvious, but replying to comments shows our audience that we're listening and interested in their feedback. Use replies to answer fan questions or thank them individually. Find comments using new filters. This is what it looks like. It's a new tool to help us manage our comments by allowing us to search for specific keywords and filter by subscriber status, channel member status, the number of subscribers that the commenter has, comments that contain questions so that we can respond more easily, and our response status to only see comments that we have or haven't responded to. Lesson three, handle hurtful or inappropriate comments. As we probably know, not all comments are positive or appropriate. YouTube recognizes how incredibly important it is for us to keep our community positive and safe and for us to maintain our own well-being. Here are actions that we can take at the comment level. We can remove the comment and all of its replies. Do this by clicking the three dots next to the comment and selecting remove. We can also do this from within YouTube Studio in the comments tab. Flag the comments to YouTube. If the comments violates YouTube's community guidelines, it will be removed. Hide the user. Doing this blocks a specific user from posting comments on any of our videos. We can block a user from commenting directly from their inappropriate comments or in the community tab in our channel settings. 
Users are not alerted when we block them. I love this. They carry on leaving horrible comments, completely unaware that none of them are showing up, which, uh, which I love. Here are actions that we can take at the channel level. From our YouTube settings, go to the community tab, then defaults. From here, we can choose to allow all comments, hold potentially inappropriate comments for review, hold all comments for review, disable comments. If we hold any comments for review, they will not appear publicly until we've reviewed them. Sorry, this has got nothing to do with comments, but I absolutely love two channels. There's Ali Abdal and Helen Spender, and they're British. Obviously their channels are excellent, but I love the way they speak and they speak so clearly and articulate so clearly in a way that, that I don't think that I have uh, trained myself to do. <laughs> I've noticed on my videos, 25% of the viewers are watching with the subtitles on and I've, I've got a feeling it's just to clarify my particular English accent. So I'm working on it. I'm trying to pronounce my consonants. I'm trying to read more slowly. If you can understand what I'm saying, say hello in the comments below. It'd be lovely to hear from you. It'd be good to know what you think about this. This episode is slightly different because I'm just reading out a course, which wasn't the spirit of the quiz, the, the Saturday night game show. The setting that we choose here in the, in the comment settings applies to all of our new videos. And we can also select these defaults on an individual video basis in the advanced tab. We can create a blocked words list. Sometimes people may use words or phrases that we don't want to see on our channel. From channel settings, go to the community tab where we'll see a section here for blocked words and we can add words or phrases that we don't want to appear in our comments section. We can also add comments moderators, add trusted community members to flag comments on our videos for removal. The comments that they flag are removed from the public comments section and can be found in our held for review queue as flagged by moderator until we approve or remove them. And we can add a moderator in our channel settings under community or from the comments tab in YouTube Studio. Turn off comments completely. If we're feeling overwhelmed by comments and these tools, we can choose to turn off all comments by selecting disable comments in our community defaults. And that's it, the, 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 the clock has hit, I was gonna call it a counter. The clock has hit zero, which means we can now, it's quiz time. Yes, quiz time. <laughs> Only three questions tonight. So hold on to your hats. I'll, I'll try to get through them as swiftly as possible. Let's scroll up, test your knowledge. Hey, it's weird having them on the side of the screen, isn't it? If you're still watching this, that's a good sign probably that, that this layout is working. Question one, what happens if we flag a comment? It's held for review. It's sent to YouTube for review for a community guidelines violation. It's immediately deleted or all of the above. I'm gonna go for this one, all of the above. Oh no! That's the first time I've got a question wrong. This, oh no, hang on, would this, this isn't a course exam. This is just a test your knowledge quiz. I think this is the first time that I definitely know I've got a question wrong. So let's try again. What happens if you flag a comment? I will go for, it's sent to YouTube for review. Excellent. Flagging a comment sends it to YouTube for a review to see if it violates YouTube's community guidelines. If it does, then it's removed. Which of the following is the best way to handle comments that use words or phrases that you don't want to see? Delete the comment, hide the user who left a comment, set up a blocked words list, or disable comments completely. I am going to choose set up a block words list. That's right. <laughs> While all of these options are ways to handle inappropriate comments, the best option is to keep certain words or phrases from being used is to set up a block words list. Which of the following is one way to use comments to positively engage your audience? Turn comments off, use comments moderators, create a blocked words list, or heart a comment. I'll go for heart a comment. Well done. Hearting a comment shows your fans that you appreciate them. Now if I hit submit, 
it just says quiz complete. So there's no letter of, what's it called? Letter of completion this week. This is quiz number four. It's a slightly different one. What do you think? Was it better to actually have the course before the quiz? I'm, I'm not sure. I think I like just diving in straight, straight to the quiz. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for playing along and let me know how you did let me know if you got any wrong and right here is what youtube thinks you should be watching next all the other quizzes are in in the description thanks for playing along